Hello and welcome back to part 5 of creating a Drupal 7 theme from an HTML template. Uh, so this is kind of where we got to in the last video. We started to put a few of the elements together. Now there's a, a step here in the, in the logo. They don't quite line up like they should. So what my first, sort of first step would be to have a look back through um, our front page and see what we've got. Now if we look at the logo, this is the area that we're having the step with. I look through and I see it's also getting an ID of logo. Um, I'm going to go and have a look at our um, CSS sheet and I'm going to scroll down and look to where we've got some logo tags. And I notice here at the top it's got a padding of 20 so I'm just going to take that out straight away. If I save that and then if we refresh and see, we'll see what does for us. You notice it now lines up our heading header quite nicely. Um, we do have an, an issue here with the um, the menu, the navigation area and our um, a featured content. So that's the next thing that we're going to look at trying to set up to, to fix. Um, so if I, if I drop back down and have a look at what we've got with nav container. Now these all came from the HTML template remember. These are not um, IDs and, and classes that we actually have ourselves. Um, added ourselves. So if I look at our front page I'm going to look down for where we've got our, our navigation area and things. Okay and here's our navigation ID. In our CSS from the HTML it was called nav container but actually here we've just called it navigation. So let's copy that over and let's change all of these to navigation. So wherever we've got a nav container, let's change it to navigation. Okay. So that's looking good at the moment and I'm going to save it go back and I'm going to refresh our page. Now we still have the overlap here but we seem to have our some navigation um, a little bit more like what we've got here so we're starting to get some of the background and things in the right place. So the problem appears to be here that it's an, our navigation area is inheriting some class information um, and some ID information from our previous ones. So in our navigation I'm just going to put in here uh, clear both. <coughs> Save that and I'm going to refresh it. That's fine. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for our area underneath. So perhaps our um, slideshow is not, not clearing the information, it's trying to pick up um, inherit some information. So we can use Firebug we can expect, inspect and we're trying to find out what this page is. So click on here, that's our slideshow. Now I want to try and take it from the highest place up as I can in, the, in here. And again you can mouse over to, to see where it highlights. Now I'm looking for an ID so let's use this one. Because we put it in as a block, the, view, the slideshow, and let's add that in here and let's just start with a clear both save that and refresh ah and you notice now it's dropped down um, in line in place um, so what's happening there is I guess the the divs are inheriting some um, some of the defaults from previous divs <coughs> I mean, causing that overlap um, so while we're here, let's let's ha let's put this um, in line. Um, so again, we want to inspect our page element. And again, this is actually the image that we're looking at. I want to keep scrolling up, uh, not to the slideshow block. I'm going to come down, uh, and I want to find this this one here, widget pager, bottom slideshow block. Uh, I'm going to copy that. Now, if you're getting, if you're starting with this, you probably wouldn't know that you wanted to grab that one straight away. Um, you may be trying to grab some of these other ones. Uh, 
that's fine. Most some of these will work as well. Um, it'll be a matter of um, playing around um, with it to c get the correct um, item. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is if I'm unsure if that's the one I want is I'll, I'll take it, put it into the um, CSS file and um, just give it a background color and see if I can see it. Um, so let's just float left. Like that, give it a refresh. And that didn't work. Let me just double check. Did I get the right one? Page bottoms. Ah, these are the that's that's for the block. Now we're actually dealing with images here. Um, so I want to actually move the image tags and have them side by side. Um, so I need to add IMG here. So that we're dealing with the images in the pager. And if I refresh that. Now we have them side by side. Um, some of the other things that we can do here is we can re in this tag here we can um, set a width so we can set a width and a height for those images so let's do that. Um, now these are actually the same size. Um, I have a little bit of white space around this image, that's why it looks a little smaller. So let's put a border around that so you can see that a little bit clearer. Oh, so that's border, two pixels, solid, light steel, blue. Save that. Fresh. So now we have a border, and you can see that's actually the image there is 60 by 60. Um, let's put a little bit of space in between here. So we'll perhaps set a right margin so that the one on the left will always be hard against the edge of the, the page, and every other one will move a slight distance to the right. So margin right, um, and let's try. 22 pixels, just arbitrary at the moment. We'll save that, and that'll give us the space between them. <coughs> so we'll do more with theming of, of this in a moment, but let's have let's have a look at this um, menu bar here at the top, and let's theme that. So what we've got here is a menu like this. What we currently have is our is our menu being generated from Drupal um, in a standard unformatted list. So if I inspect that, um, you'll notice here that it's a, a UL, an unformatted list. It's the main menu. Um, and yet if we have a look at our um, HTML site, uh, if we look at the code here, Uh, you notice that we've got an ordered list, an OL. So looking at my um, my uh, let's pull this a little bit, so it's not all spread out. Um, so if you go back to navigation, here we have an, an ordered list, and yet here with Drupal it's outputting an unordered list. So it's not picking up these stylings here at all. Now there are a couple of ways we can actually change that with then the the template.php. Um, so that it comes out as an ordered list. Um, however, it's it's just as easy to just change the, the CSS here um, to an unordered list. Um, so I'm just going to do that for all of these. Ordered lists. Okay. And fresh lists. <sighs> and now we have something that's looking a little bit more like we've got over here. It's not quite perfect. We haven't. We need a little bit of space at the top to push this these down. <coughs> um, so even even every now and again, oh, this flu is terrible. Um, we get it in the wrong place. 
So I've added to our navigation UL uh, list uh, margin top 10 pixels. So I'm going to drop it down uh, from the top of the navigation area down 10 pixels. Um, now it's not quite what we've got here. Um, here you'll notice that the, the navigation area runs right the way across or appears to run right the way across. So how we're going to accomplish that is by using a background image in our page. So <coughs> pardon me. So what I've done is open up our Photoshop file um, and I'm looking at how we're going to create this background for our navigation. And essentially I'm just going to take a, a slice out of here using a fixed size. Um, one pixel wide because we, we don't need it very wide, we're just going to repeat it across the page. Um, and I've just played on and off with it to find out a, a reasonable length. Now I want to get a little bit of grey underneath and I want to get a few pixels of the white. And just create a background image with that. So here it is, saved it as a background image. Um, and then I've saved this for the web. So we're going to be using this as our background. So closing out that. Okay, so now we're going to add the image um, in the background here. Now we're actually going to add it to the, the body tag, uh, which is going to do something a little weird, which I'll, I'll explain in a moment. So let's just bring that in a bit. And we're going to repeat it across the page. Remember, it's only one pixel wide. And okay. Okay, now you notice it puts in the it in, in the background area, um, in the body, but here it's kind of floated down. Um, part of this is to do with um, the way Zen is set up um, and the way that I've moved things around a little bit. If I actually log out so that you'll see it as um, a normal user would see it, uh, you'll notice that everything lines up as it should. Uh, part of that's to do with the way it deals with the... Um, the navigation stuff for us administrators. Um, I haven't really got around to, to fixing that yet. Um, I'll do that in the future. Um, so we'll leave the video here at this stage and we'll continue on with um, theming the slideshow and, and all of these other parts um, in the next video.